Hi everyone, welcome to Brick Vault. This is Mike, and today I have with me the 10268 Vestas Wind Turbine. This thing is so big it doesn't fit in the camera. So, uh, how about we take it to the light room and take a closer look? First things first, this thing is massive. It's probably the tallest set in LEGO that was ever made so far and it just doesn't fit in our Lightroom. You can see I'm like pretty far back with the camera. If I zoom out, you can see that this thing just doesn't fit height-wise with the paper bag, the white paper bag that we have here. So I have to be pretty far to capture the majority of the set, but the winds alone, the blades alone, are just too big to fit in the frame, which is insane. Just to give you a perspective of scale, the set has the base of 670 millimeters or 26 inches, whereas the diameter of the wingspan of the uh, just the turbine part is 28 inches or 720 millimeters, which just tells you how massive this thing is. And uh, it pretty much goes well to scale for how massive the turbines are. We have set number 10268, that is our remake, the entire remake of the 4999 set of the Vestas turbine from 2008. This one has 826 pieces, same as before we have the power functions included. And the main difference, and I think the only one that I found so far, is that this set has actual prints instead of stickers. So all the graphics or the logos of the Vestas company are actual prints, which is pretty nice. We have this set early thanks to LEGO who sent to us the set for review, so thank you so much for that. The set is scheduled to launch on November 23rd, 2018 and the price is set at $200 in the US, £160 in the UK and €180 Euro in the rest of Europe. I have to admit that the set is pretty pricey for the amount of parts you get offered. The price per piece ratio is 24 cents in the US, which is pretty high one of the highest I've seen. That is 19 pence in the UK per piece and 20, around 21, 22 cents, euro cents in uh, Europe, whatever the euro currency applies. You have to understand that this is mostly a display set. It does offer some play functions. Of course, it's powered, so it's pretty cool to see it moving. But other than that, there is not much else going on here in terms of uh, play features. The set promotes green energy and also the plants in this set are coming from the plants from Plants LEGO program, where the elements of trees and so on are actually made from an edible plastic from, I think, if I remember correctly, the sugar cane. You would ask yourself why LEGO is promoting such set. Well, LEGO is going quite green lately. They are trying to provide uh, sustainable energy for their entire production. They are investing heavily in uh, renewable energy sources. And Vestas right now is the biggest uh, wind turbine manufacturer in the world. They currently have 17% uh, of the installed wind turbine base of the entire world, uh, formed in 1945, a very long lasting company, currently employing 24,000 employees. So, you know, a collaborator you would really want to have in your portfolio if you are a model toy company like Lego. You can see I'm struggling here to keep the thing in shot because it always goes over the Lightroom, but I think we can easily start with what this set has to offer in the base. The base here doesn't offer much play value. It does look nice and clean, like a, you know, nice uh, countryside house. Somewhere in the countryside, we have a small little umbrella, patio umbrella with a table, a pretty modern looking chairs in the front, uh, a mailbox right there. Those are lights that actually work. I'm gonna show you in a second. There is like this modern entry towards the house. And yeah, I'm not sure if I can show you right now, but there is not much in the bag, there is some sort of a mini fridge or a container. Um, there's a sink and some frying pan. There's a very simple bed on the other side. Let me just show you right here. There is a bed. It's really hard to access this with all this small space. Uh, and not much else. There's a satellite dish. Uh, but um, the entirety of this house serves, serves actually as a hiding place for the cables that go towards the lights in the front and up the turbine towards the main motor at the very top. You can see the cable sticking out a bit under this um, plate here in green. So that is the hiding function. And uh, well, it serves pretty well for that purpose, but there is not much else um, to it. In the back, we have a selection of green burps. If you don't know what it is, it's a big, ugly rock piece. Those usually come in gray. 
a very popular piece to build rock formations in LEGO. They used to come in green very um, long ago, now they are having a comeback of sorts uh, and, uh, you know, paired together with the new foliage elements, they actually look better than previously. I think that's another thing that was a bit updated in this set, the foliage elements, because as I can see, the set offers the new flower molds, which were not, I think, available back in 2008. Uh, please um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that is true. And we have the old school, old style pine trees that were one of the first molds for foliage in LEGO ever made. And again, these are made from the reusable plastic, the cane sugar plastic that LEGO is heavily promoting lately. So I like this base in the back. It looks nice. The back is pretty open. And that's where the magic happens because this holds the battery box and the actual switch to make the system go. There is a small bench on the top, some more flowers here. So nothing else here. There is a small uh, like maintenance door that usually those turbines have for the servicemen to climb up. But let's check out that switch. Uh, just pull it up and boom, you can hear the motor going up. And this thing starts working when you switch. The lights also go up in the front, so that is a great um, showcase of the energy that is actually being produced. Let's say you think that the turbine is actually producing energy for the small uh, tiny house at the bottom, and that's pretty cool. Let me just show you. Yeah, this thing moves. I'm gonna move the camera so you can see it better. All right, now I think I have a pretty good angle for the turbine. You can see the movement is very smooth. For my liking, it's a bit too fast when the batteries are fully charged. I think those turbines uh, usually go slower, as far as I know. I mean, probably when the wind is bigger, they go faster, but this feels a bit too fast for me. So the de detailing here is pretty nice. I mean, it's quite simple. I'm just gonna show you that you can actually move this thing. It comes on a uh, turntable. So that thing like works like the usual. Uh, you can turn it towards the wind as you wish. There's a hatch in the back that actually shows the motor. So you can see it's pretty empty inside and just the motor is working. The cable goes all the way, all the way inside towards the bottom. It's a really long cable. You get like two or three extension cables with the set. So you can reach the bottom, uh, the base, the battery pack at the very bottom of the turbine. It has those like safety lights for the airplanes and so on and so on. And I'm not really sure which model of the Vesta's turbine it is because they offer a bunch of different models for different power needs. Uh, they look quite the same. I'm not an expert on the wind, uh, you know, power technology, so please. Uh, check yourself, maybe you can find which model it is. I'm not sure if it depicts any certain model of the Vestas portfolio. And as I mentioned, all the um, graphics logos in this set are actual prints. So, Nana sticker, very nice print on this nice big uh, plate uh, slash tile that you usually see in bigger sets. And overall, I think the whole uh, thing looks really cool, sleek, and just fun to watch spin. And you know, there is not much else to say because this is only a wind turbine display model. It's very impressive for what it gives you in terms of looks. It, it's gonna look awesome in any, uh, you know, display environment. You have the space to display it. I really like this angle. You can see like how high it is from this angle. I think that looks pretty cool. And uh, well, if you decide to get it and display it in your house, I guess that's gonna be some eye turner right there for, you no know, all the people. It's like you're driving past the wind farms they always look so magnificent so like noble and so on and this thing actually delivers in that terms all right i'm gonna switch this thing off to show you the last element of the set which is a van and four minifigures and technically not four minifigures but three minifigures and a dog which are all pretty much very very simple usually creator sets come with a pack of quite generic minifigures here we have exclusive because the employees of the um, Vestas company that are working on the turbine are, well, simple minifigures, but they are still quite unique with that V Vestas logo in the front. And funny enough, there is not much else to them, just the V on the front and plain white and plain dark blue for the pants. Uh, simple face expressions that are quite often uh, repeated in many, many sets. They have the blue um, safety hats, which actually don't come very often in that color, so that's nice. But other than that, uh, that's gonna be mostly valuable for collectors because these guys just don't look that, you know, um, nice uh, compared to many minifigures that we, were be we would be getting in many other sets with more detailed prints. Uh, the gal here has, I think, a very typical blouse in this, uh, I think it's an apple or whatever pattern, front and back, so she's actually more detailed than the employees. She comes with this, the most repeated 
female face, I think, in LEGO so far. Uh, and I think she does have, no, she doesn't have a second face expression. So there is not much else to this minifigure. A simple hair mold that we've seen so many times. And she also comes with a dog that we've seen the mold of in many, for example, city police sets. And the last thing that you get is the actual van of the Vestas company. Also, prints on the side, so that's pretty nice. I thought that was a sticker, but it is a print. The van is very generic in terms of shaping, so not much else is happening here. It doesn't really have doors, so you have to remove the roof to get inside. There's a um, driver's seat. Funny enough, it's on the proper left side of the car, which is not the case many times. Sometimes the cars in city have like a driver's seat centered, which is weird, um, you know, if you know how the car looks like, which is very weird. The front is very simple. There are no stickers for the license plates and the actual storage compartment does hold some cool things. You can open this up and remove uh, maintenance equipment. So you get a full cart of stuff, tools and whatnot. There is a bunch of tools that you get in the set, some extras. Um, that you get in the bags and to, I think, uh, oxygen or just wielding tanks uh, for, you know, fixing the turbine, just making your usual maintenance. Really nice that it's like connected to the cart. You can remove the dolly with the tanks to actually uh, start your work on the turbine, get the workers to do their job. And there is not much else inside. So very simple, but I did like the fact that they included some equipment and you can actually do some, you know, role playing, some just play features with that set, even though it doesn't provide as much, there you go, it doesn't provide as much in terms of other playable uh, options. Now my final thoughts on this set, I think it's gonna quickly become quite collectible. People wanted the first one and right now it's really quite valuable set to have, I guess it's gonna drop in value once this thing comes out in late November 2018, but uh, just the looks wise and how unique the set is, it's gonna have some really serious value among different collectors. The box is nice, uh, you don't get many things to come with this set, but just the sheer size and the, the looks, I think, will save it. However, you do have to drop uh, $200 on this for uh, below a thousand parts, which doesn't give you the perfect price to piece ratio. You, of course, get the power functions in this set, which just adds to the price, obviously, every time there is a power functions, um, complement of the set, the price will go up. So that's pretty much inevitable. So I don't really mind as much. I do understand the, the, under, the, the, the price point of this because of that. And well, if you can just like, you know, accept that value, that price that you are being offered, I think it's not a disappointment. It's very unique. It's gonna have a very solid place in our reborn LEGO city that we're gonna be coming back to very soon. And, well, I really cannot wait to see it, you know, among other buildings just towering above everything else. Because I think that LEGO will not make uh, as big of a set um, in uh, any near distant, near or distant future. Alright guys, uh, that's gonna be it for my review, my look at the uh, 10268 Vestas Turbine set. I hope you like it. Of course, don't be afraid to leave a like below if you uh, enjoyed this review uh, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already we always appreciate the support and don't forget to click the bell button to be notified for every single new video that we make thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you next time on break vault Hey, thanks for watching this video. As always, you can leave a like and subscribe. And also, if you want to support our channel, you can head over to our web store at www.brickvault.toys. You can find awesome models there. All these guys that I have on the table are available in the forms of instructions and parts lists. Every purchase you make supports our channel and also the designers that are working with us on those uh, amazing models. So consider doing that. Thanks so much. And it was Mike. I'll see you again on Brick Vault.